What's up Halo fans, welcome back to another Halo video. Now today's video is a very, very exciting video uh, because uh, in this video we're going to be showcasing uh, the Half-Life map from uh, Black Mesa in Halo 3, running the Halo 3 engine. As you can see, we're in uh, the test chamber. So if you look at my last video that was that was made about four months ago, you know, it was just... Um, it was like a very working early pro you know, progress, like uh, there was barely anything on the map. But in our latest build, in, in this version that you're seeing here, it's uh, we've done a lot to it, you know. And uh, I, I do recommend watching that video, so when you watch this video, then you notice how much work, we, work we've uh, put in, you know, on this map. Uh, but it's still, very, it's still, you know, very early work in progress, you know, the map still has issues. And this is more assets we want to add, you know, for the map. Uh, but yeah, this is the test chamber. Um, and as you can see, we're playing as... Uh, Gordon Freeman uh, and all credit goes to Dflog for porting this over so Dflog if you're watching this you've done an incredible job with the Freeman model uh, but yeah we're playing as Gordon Freeman uh, so so over here we have the uh, I forgot what you call this but it's I think it's called is it called a delivery, delivery something um, it carries the uh, crystals I don't know what you call it but yeah we added this in you can actually like move it around let's put it in the let's put it in the hole <laughs> yeah okay and we also added this in from um half-life one it took a while for me to rip this uh, me and my brother we uh yeah we added the, these two models in uh i think it's called the delivery cart i don't remember the name of it uh it's crystal cart i think but yeah we added the occasion as well um but yeah and we also added like textures um personally i don't really like the textures because i mean i'd rather say it looks really good but I personally like it how it was originally. I mean, what do you guys think about it? Looks alright? I mean, I think it looked better when it was playing. It's alright, I guess. Just I prefer it last time. So we added the doors in. Uh, uh, again, you know, this wasn't... Yeah, this wasn't in um, in that other build uh, when we showcased in this map. Like, like I said, if you were to watch that video, you'd notice how d different uh, this looks. But yeah, we added that in. And we also added the scanner uh, from Half-Life 1. A broken door and here we added the lights in. how this is gonna start is um, the humans will start over here in this area so uh, the survivors are gonna be starting here while the zombies the infected will be st starting here uh, they'll be, yeah their spawns will be there and their survivor spawns will be over here so you can imagine as soon as you get in the game you know you'll be standing here uh, we added a lot of spawns here so okay, ignore that pipe that's that's just bugged out we need to find a fix for that uh, but anyways, uh, we added uh, the spawns here, so, so when you're spawning here, you don't want to run this way because uh, that's the dead end, that's where you're going to see the infected. So you want to keep on running. Yeah, dude, it looks a bit scary though, doesn't it? But yeah, you want to keep on running and you will jump up top of here. There's a, la there's a lift there, a uh, grab lift. And as you can see, we added some... I have two props. The delivery, uh, I don't know what you call this. A push cart, that's what it's called. Okay, yeah, push cart from Half Life 2. Uh, you can actually move it. Um, yes, you can actually move. Um, I don't think so. But we can make that movable, no worries. But yeah, um, so we have the barrel, the Half Life 2 barrel. Now, you guys might be asking me a question Hey, Shaban, does it explode? And the answer is. Yes, it actually explodes. Uh, but we also made a bit details. So like, what I mean by that? So when you're shooting the barrel, the barrel will uh, rip into pieces. So you actually see it coming, you know, coming off each other. Uh, you know, the piece. So let me show you. Let me demonstrate. Let me shoot this barrel. See that? And there we have it. That's pretty cool. Now, are you guys ready to see this? So if you look behind us. What the we got the head crabs, and my gosh, like let's just take a moment and just it, they look so they look amazing in the Halo 3 engine. Look at them; they have their own idol, uh, their, their own idol animation. So yeah, this, so the plan is uh, is to keep these guys in the uh, you know in the glass. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep these guys uh, in this uh, glass here. When players come up here, they're always gonna be walking past uh, these head crabs. So it, it's, it kind of reminds me of um, from Halo 3 Cold Storage, where you see the float tank, you know, being. Uh, you know, locked in this uh this big water titan thing so it's kind of like that you know, so think of think of that you know so players are going to be walking past the hair crab and uh they can have a, a nice look at it you know 
we need to add a glass for this one, so don't worry about that. And add another uh, head crab there. But, but yeah, uh, they look uh, they look really beautiful in Halo Three. Anyways, moving forward. <laughs> Gotta sort that scan out. It's a bit weird. Uh, we haven't done much to this room. Um, yeah, we still need to do a lot here. So yeah, the plan is to make this into a an infection map. So. So that's the plan. A lot of people were asking me, oh, do you plan to make this into a camping? Uh, absolutely not. We want to make this into a infection map, you know, for players. Um, yeah, this is the corridor here. I can imagine zombies, uh, you know, I can imagine the infector chasing me. So we added the, uh, the door animations. Yeah, from Half-Life 1. And as you can see, there's uh, door animations right there. Now here... Okay, you can't see the crates, fortunately, but the, the uh, crates from Half-Life 2, you can't really see them, uh, but I, I know what you guys are going to ask me. Um, can you break them? Uh, yes, you can actually break them. Uh, they actually have their own chunk pieces. But I don't want to do it here because it is too dark. I'll show you upstairs. Um, so, yeah, you saw the barrels uh, from, you know, the other place that we were at. Uh, then here we have the, uh, yeah, the, the other barrel from Half-Life 2. Uh, so I'm just trying to be careful you know, not to miss anything. Oh yeah, we, have, we also have the blue barrel half life too, which is pretty nice. So it's basically the free model, you know, it was made by Dflog and yeah, that was made by him. But but the rest of the stuff like I'm just trying to think of what because we did a lot of stuff. We like we ported in the push car, like the barrels, and we did the chunk pieces for the crate. Uh we're gonna go show you that. Um just trying, I'm just being very careful not to miss anything. I think I just missed something, damn it. Oops, the weapons. I was supposed to show the... I think one of the Half-Life weapons should be upstairs, hopefully. But I'll show you that uh, as well. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit nervous making this video because I just hope I don't miss out anything. So here we have the elevator. Uh, you can't go in because it's actually blocked. Uh, we need to fix that. Uh, we don't know if we're going to make this uh, usable, like, you know, players using the elevator. Uh, I don't know. We have to look into that. Um, again, we have the push cart. And then we have the Black Mesa seats. So, uh, the blue seats from Black Mesa uh, remake. Uh, so, we pretty much added like stuff from Half Life 1, Half Life 2, and the Black Mesa remake. We've, we've got assets from there, most of them. So, that's pretty cool how we have this. It's uh, really nice. Got the bin from. Uh, yeah, these two assets here, uh, these two uh, props here, they're from uh, Black Mesa uh, remake, uh, which is pretty nice. And you can interact with them, you can move them around. It's, this is pretty hard to move. Over here we have the Half-Life 2 uh, vending machine. Just like he remembered it. So going forward we have... Yeah, the scan, I don't want to keep this burning like that. I need to, need to find a fix. So you can actually open the, the open up this door by using the scanner. It is a bit buggy because like, you got to be standing in a specific spot. Like your reticle has to be facing the blue screen. It's a bit weird. So we, can, we need to try to find a fix for that. So, see that open? Yeah, so I'm walking very slowly so we don't miss that much. Okay, now we got to the crate. And as you can see, we have this supply crate and a large crate. Got the medium sized crate. Uh, I want to show this upstairs, but it was too dark for me to <laughs> to showcase this here. But since we're in a bright area, we can still show you it. And we also added the Half-Life 2 radio. Oh, and also, okay, the weapon is there actually. We also added the Half-Life 2 weapon. So you see, hold RB to pick up. So we added the Half-Life 2 pistol. You guys already see this? Voila. So this is the Half-Life 2 Magnum we added. So we've only added like two Half-Life... Uh, uh, we added two weapons from Half-Life 2. Uh, which was which is this pistol and the shotgun. Uh, we'll get to the shotgun in a bit. Uh, but yeah, let me show you uh, what, the, what what it looks like you know, when you break these pieces. Uh, you guys ready? Voila. Just like Half-Life 2. Like, you know, if you look at the pieces, it's exactly like from Half-Life 2. And the large crate. And we do it to this medium crate here. So you guys might be asking me, oh, you know, are you, do you guys plan on adding weapons in the crate? Uh, it actually works. Uh, the problem is, like, every time you break the crate and there's, we there's weapons in there, uh, they, there's, they'll always, like, fall down, you know, you know, through the map, so I can't really grab the weapon on time. Uh, it, it only happens because it just depends uh, you know, where the crate is because this area, um, I don't think it's this area, 
but in some of the areas, for some reason, the weapons fall through the map. But, but some of the areas, it doesn't fall through the map, so you can break some of the crates and actually, uh, you know, find a weapon in there. Uh, so if you look here, we go, we go through here, come over down here, and then if you were to break this, for some reason I can't melee that. I'm just trying to, oh, okay, now you can. Okay, there's no weapons in there. Look, so like, we've got a rocket and, and a few rock. So yeah, it does work, it just depends where the crate is, which is really weird. The map has uh, issues with open edges. Okay, um, just trying to take my time not to rush this. Okay, let's go to let's go in the canteen. Oh wait, there's a shotgun here. Uh, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys the shotgun. Uh, you see the shotgun? Voila! Look at this. Absolute beast. Okay, credit goes to Zofi for pouring this. She's. Uh, I mean, we've given her the model. Uh, you know, we did manage to. You know, I mean, we, we didn't really get the thing working or anything, but she did the animation and such and yeah yeah she did port it in game but we've we got the model from um <laughs> we had it took a it took a while for us to get this in, onto blender and we gave her the model to Sophie. so yeah she's done a fantastic job with the shotgun well what do you guys think about this whole thing that we're making like does it seriously lose your mind like you're playing half-life in um uh, in halo 3 but yeah let me know uh, down in the comments below but anyways uh we're in the canteen so at first did anybody guys see this uh See the canteen in the previous video that I made a while back? It was so horrible. Like, I didn't like the looks of the canteen. But now it looks so much better. I mean, it probably looks a little off here and there, but it looks so much better compared to before. So here we added the microwave. Um, Say so it's out of order. And then there it's a... And then here we added the Black Mesa can. Drink can. Got the chair uh, from Black Mesa. And again, all of this is from Black Mesa. Besides that Coke can. I think we got that elsewhere. It's not, it's not from Half Life. Um, so we've got a Fantine, Soda Fantine. Um, it's from Black Mesa. Got Coca Cola vending machine. Um, I'm thinking about increasing the size of that. You know, matching that. It looks a bit weird. But yeah. Um, looks uh, fantastic. But yeah, we made this map really dark. Like, uh, we want to uh, bring that uh, horror feeling, you know, the atmosphere. Yeah, we added the doors in. Uh, that's a half-half one door. Um, if you guys see that. Yeah, that's flipping out. Getting too close. <laughs> okay, there. Yeah, that's the half-half one door we added. So over here, we're in the dressing room. Not much uh, stuff we added for this area. Uh, I mean, we did add the washing dry actually. In half-life 2. I ported this in. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, my brother also did the tissues. Uh, I, I got the tissues from Black Mesa. Which is pretty cool. Got the candle. Um, but the candle is not from the Half-Life uh, franchise. My brother got that elsewhere. I don't know where. We added the door in as well. So if, again, if you look at the previous video, uh, there was uh, there was no door. So people can actually go through there. Um, over here, um, we didn't add in anything here. But you can actually hide here. And you can actually imagine right now, like, playing Infection and... Someone can actually like come through that door right now any second. Holy smokes. Okay, I'm scaring myself. <laughs> There's no one playing with me. I'm all alone. Yep. Shaban 95. Again, we haven't added anything here. Uh we just like pretty much in this room we just added, you know, we just changed up the the lighting in this. But yeah, we added stuff. we added a few props, you know, like the washing machine and tissues as well. Napkin, what you guys want to call it. Um, got the bench. So, okay, I want to take my time here. So, I'm just being very careful not to miss anything. Um, should we go this way? Okay, right, let's go this way then. So, you see the graffitis? Right, right, let me show you this. So, you see the graffiti graffitis right on the wall. So, every graffiti that you see, they're all different. They're not going to be copy and paste or anything like that. Um, yeah, so yeah, every graffiti that you see, there's always going to be different graffiti. It's not copy and paste. Yeah, we added this in as well, from Black Mesa. Okay. Uh, so we added the blood splat on the wall. We added uh, Surrender Freeman. Yeah. And over here, we added a 
a dead body that's been wrapped up. And if you look carefully, very, very carefully, you can actually see flies going around. Can you see it? I think it might be very hard to see. But you see, you know, flies flying around the, the dead body. Um, it's pretty disturbing when you look at this. It's like, oh, it's like, damn. Yeah, they're rough. Uh, but yeah. So this is the reception. Black Mesa Research Facility. So we've added the... We added the, the uh, trash bin. The trash can uh, from Black Mesa. We added the calculator, keyboard, mouse. Um, added the monitor. Yeah. So we've got the phone as well. Added the chair in. And yeah, you can actually knock this all down. Let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna clean that up. Someone else can do that. Uh, so yeah, you can actually... Oh, you can actually break this off. There you go. So you can break the vent. Um, you can actually go through it. Uh, so, but the thing is, you are gonna have issues because the pieces... The pieces I'm standing on top, so it could take a while for me to get under. So I need to move all of this. It's pretty annoying. Oh, I got in. Alright, nice. nice. It feels so satisfying when you break these boxes. So like, holy smokes, it's like just like Half Life. It's incredible. I can't believe what, I can't believe we're actually doing this. You know, you guys are gonna love this map. You see the graffiti here again, but it's a different graffiti. Like I said, every uh, so the wall that you're gonna look at, the you know, they're different. Not copy and paste. You want to keep it different. So over here it says, Death awaits us all. Do not let the Combine decide yours. It's very, very disturbing when you see that. Oh, and also, I forgot to... I think I accidentally picked it up. Uh, so you see the health pack. You can actually use that. So, but it works differently. It's not like exactly like Half-Life 2. I will say it's a bit closer. Uh, so basically, you can actually have Invincible uh, Shield. So... So what we did, we got the Invincible Shield, it's from Halo 3's campaign where the, those Brute Chieftains would activate it. So it would look like... How do I activate it? Is that? Okay, there you go. You see that? So if I was to pick it up, pick up another one. Hang on. It needs to run out first, then I can pick it up. There you go. I picked it up. And then you activate it. Nice. You see the blood, you know, going across, it's pretty scary. <laughs> yeah. And um, by, and by the way, uh, a lot of people don't notice, but in my last video, uh, when I made this video, a lot of people, you know, don't realize that this this uh, screen that they see is actually a live CTV camera. So you would see zombies uh, spawning in there, like you know, just trying to break out. So you see players there, uh, which is pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. So we added the uh, couch from Half-Life 2, the cabinet from Half-Life 2, as you guys can see. I can actually knock all this down. We added the v uh, we added the cassette v uh, VCR cassette from Black Mesa remake. We've added the VCR, um, a mini television. Yeah. It's uh, really awesome what we've done here. Come out this way. Uh, just try and be careful not to miss anything. Because <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like I might mess up. Uh, might miss something. Um, over here we added the we added wood pieces. Uh, but you can't break them. We have I haven't added that in yet. I need to add the chunk in. So yeah, my brother and I need to work on that. Let's jump, jump in there. Okay, now we did it. Right. So, got the crates here. Let me just break them, because I just love breaking them. <laughs> I just... It just feels so satisfying. Yeah. I do apologize if it's really dark. It's just a shame that Halo 3 does not support um, flashlight and multiplayer. Oh, so we added um, Dr. Kleiner's um, pet, Lamar. So the, the plan is... Uh, so obviously we saw the head crabs, you know, at the other place, right? I think it was downstairs. So... But for this head crab... 
We wouldn't, wouldn't go by the name Lamar. I mean, it's still the same haircut, right? <laughs> At the end of the day. Uh, but yeah, uh, so what we're planning to do, we're going to have Lamar in the cage. So players will come in here and actually see Lamar. But Lamar, like he's, like obviously we all know that he's completely harmless. And he's going to be in there all scared. So you wouldn't come out, you know, the poor little thing. He's going to be very, he's going to be just, he's just going to be very scared, you know, not to come out, you know. So yeah, he's going to be alone in there. Don't worry, Lamar. We're going to keep you safe. Anyway, so we added, uh. The server, I think that's what you call that. And uh added the printer. Yeah, oh, and also we added the photo frame from Life Love 2. So you that's what's right there. Freeman. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It took a while for me to find this. <laughs> I hope you guys like what you're seeing. Um let me know, know down in the comments below. So, when we come down here, we see the Zombie. Credit goes to Epic Player for, for porting this over. Uh, he did a amazing job porting this over. Um, the Zombie is using the uh, Halo 3's uh, flood animation, as you guys can tell. Um, he looks a bit off. I should have done better with the lighting on there. Uh, so the plan is, uh, we're going to unlock this room. No players were able to enter in this room. Uh, we're going to have like a locked door, a uh, see-through glass, and we're going to see the head crab, um, you know, in this room. So, you know, yeah, no players are not going to enter in this room. I don't want to go any further because uh, there's missing pictures and I don't want you guys to see that. I mean, you can see it right there. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, we're going to have this room completely locked, so no players won't go there. I mean, time will tell, we'll probably change our minds, I don't know. But for now, we're going to have this room completely locked. Uh, we're in, and we're going to have a door here, a see-through door. And you guys are going to see the hair crab, um, the zombine, sorry. So what else do I need to show you? I think that's probably one thing I need to show you, show you guys. Yeah, so we've got to get to the, yeah, let's go to the tram. I haven't shown, shown you the tram. Oh man, this just, uh, me and my brother are so proud, you know, what we've done, you know, with this map. And the community as well, that helped us. Like, I can't believe that we're actually doing this for the community. So, go through here. Uh, we haven't done a lot to this room, to be honest. It's pretty much the same as last time. I think the textures you know, look a bit different. Uh, but yeah, you have another CCTV camera. Uh, so if you and your buddies are, are in here and just camping, yeah, you can just like, you know, chill out and look at the CCTV cameras. This was missing from our, yeah, if you look at our first video, they were missing uh, the rail. Yeah, it was basically the rail. Yeah, it was missing the, the rails. Now we have the the tr uh, the tram from um, Black Mesa. So if we jump up here, and this is the Black Mesa tram, uh, which is pretty nice. You can I can imagine you know hiding from the zombies. You know, like imagine you and your buddies just camping in here. Like holy smokes! And you see the the zombies coming through there. Guess that's about it, guys. Uh, maybe I've shown a lot. I'm just a bit worried I might have missed something. But yeah, this is this is what we're doing. This is what we've been, you know, making behind the scenes. You guys might ask me questions. Uh, when are you releasing this? I have no idea. Me and my brother have no idea. We still have a... We still want to work on this. Uh, you know, do more with it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. And if you guys want to ask us more questions, uh, you know, please leave, leave a comment. And do follow us on Twitch. You know, do do follow us on Twitch. We'll prob you know, it would definitely mean a lot if you guys uh, follow us on Twitch. You know, we do go live uh, every day. You know, you guys can ask us uh, questions about Half-Life. But anyways, I don't want to ramble on. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be ending the video here. Like I said, be sure to subscribe. Uh, be sure to leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, go ahead and drop a follow us on Twitch. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.